Are you some flowers? For me? Psych! Well, using this on a person probably wasn't the best idea, but you know what they say, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Three, two, one, smash it! And yeah, I know, smashing frozen flowers is so cliche, but it's pretty much the internet standard to determine if something's frozen or not, so I had to do it. More smashes! More! 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 So we've already established that the liquid nitrogen squirt gun is really good at freezing flowers and cooling off people, but how good is it at putting out fires? Say you're watching one of my videos and your computer spontaneously catches on fire. It happens. But don't worry. As long as you have a fire extinguisher nearby, everything should be okay. Don't worry, I got this. Six and a half hours later. All right, I got this. <laughs> Good as new. <laughs> Can you believe this? I can't believe it still works. We are definitely keeping this computer like some kind of trophy, like Mythbusters Buster. This is gonna be our test subject from now on. All right guys, you've seen what liquid nitrogen squirt gun can do. Now it's time to put it to the limit. It's time for liquid nitrogen versus flamethrower. Let's get started. I rigged up some contraction to shoot out engine starting fluid, which is pretty much the most flammable thing you can buy in a can. But the question is, what is stronger? The cold power of liquid nitrogen or the heat from the engine starting fluid? Let's find out. Are you ready? All right, three, two, one, go. <laughs> Woo! All right, three, two, one, go. All right, guys, that's it for this week's episode of The Backyard Scientist. I'll see you guys next week. Bye. No. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, yeah? Oh, I'm on, I'm on cold fire. I'm on cold fire.